Hi guys, Della here from Della Larson's class. Today it's all about Google Classroom. How to set it up, how to send out an assignment, and what it's going to look like when that comes back to you. For years, we've seen kids using Google Classroom in the upper grades, but it's not widespread down in kindergarten. But there's no reason for that. I'm telling you, you're going to love it, your kids will love it, you can send it home for homework so your parents will be thrilled, and when your administrator comes in and he or she sees all the kids engaged in technology in a meaningful way where you can differentiate to different levels, they're going to be impressed. So don't be nervous. We're going to do it. I'll walk you through it. And you're going to be saying, Della, why didn't I try this before? Don't worry. You're trying it now and you're going to love it. Okay, so I'm going to show you how easy this is. You won't believe it. All you have to do is go to Google and type in classroom. Here you go. You're going to get right here. It's going to show you this page. Come up to the plus sign up here and just say create a class. Of course, you're going to read all of this um, and then just name your class. Mrs. Larson's Kindergarten. Done. So now you just hit create, create and they're making your class and before you know it, boom, there it is. Now you have a class on Google Classroom. The first thing you need, of course, is students in your class. So you come up here to students and you hit this tab here and you can start to type in their email address that you get from your tech person or your um, computer person. In my district, I work in a really large district, so I can just get their addresses straight from our attendance um, sign in and it's super easy. You can also use this code right here to have kids use that code when they log in. They just put in this code and they get right into your classroom. It's so simple. So now, of course, you need to have something to do in your classroom. What are you going to have them do once they get here? You have to give them an assignment. So you come down here to the plus sign and you say, create an assignment. So in kindergarten, this looks very different than in the upper grades. And a lot of people, I think, don't think that you can do it in kindergarten because they don't understand what kind of resources we have available to us right now to use in Google Classroom. So the best place to go, of course, is where you already are, which is Teacher Pay Teacher to find resources. So this is one resource here about learning how to read CVC words. So when you buy the per when you purchase the resource, you just download it, and most of the Google resources come in a PDF. So here's the PDF, and you're going to see this on a lot of the, the resources, movable pieces. In kindergarten, what that means is, or in, in all of the resources, what that means is there's going to be little pieces that you, the kids will manipulate and move. It makes it so much easier for them to show what they know. So in the PDF, there's going to be um, this right here where it says click here to access. So you click that, and it's going to bring you here. That's simple. You just make a copy and give it a second while it opens up and here it is. So now you have access to this resource and this is what the movable pieces mean. So here the kids are gonna drop, drag and drop the yellow circles to show the correct spelling. They see the picture of the hat, they're gonna take this, they're gonna move it over and show that this is hat. Maybe they're making a mistake and they put it up like that and you'll clearly see that on their work that they're missing out on that vowel sound. So the kids just move through all the slides and they move their pieces. Now, a lot of times with little ones, they're going to make a mistake and they're gonna make this huge and they're gonna be screaming your name, Mrs. Larson, something went wrong. The best thing to do is teach them Command Z. Undo is your best friend. Anytime they get stuck, just hit Command Z. They make the piece too big, Command Z, it goes right back. All of my kids know Undo is your best friend. So that's where the resource is, but the problem is this is not in your classroom yet. So when you come to your classroom, come back to your classroom, you go to this drive icon. 
that's where it is. So here it is right here. You're going to click on it and it comes right here. Give it a name, reading CVC words, and now you, you're going to assign it. But before you assign it, what you want to do is you can give it a due date. Come over here and you can say that it's due at a certain time. You just pick the date you want it to be due. I, I don't do that because I just don't. But you can certainly do that. And if you have special instructions, please finish for homework, whatever. My kids can't read that, so I don't give special instructions. Before you assign it, this piece is important. Don't forget this. Come over here and say, make a copy for each student. Otherwise, again, the kids are just all going to be working off that same resource, and that's a disaster. So now you hit assign, and just give it a second. It's going to just take a second. <laughs> and um, it's now assigning that resource to all the kids in your class. So now every student in your class is going to get a copy of it. I'm going to show you what the kids see when they log in so that you'll see how they see this on their side, okay? Okay, so now let's look at what it's like for your students. So your students come in and they put in classroom. And here they are. This is my um, student, and she wants to join a class. So you come up here and you say join class. Now this is how we're going to use that, that code that we got from the first slide. And I'm just putting in that code, and I'm saying join. And it's finding that class, and there we are. Here I am. I'm in the classroom. That's how simple it is. That is how simple it is. So here is my assignment. It's due tomorrow. I guess Google decided it's due tomorrow. So they just open it up and they come here. My student decides to finish her work. She's so good. She comes to the next slide. Here's a pig. She does this. And she thinks she's done. So she goes back and she turns it in. But guess what? She's not done. So if she says, oh no, I didn't do the rest of the work, she comes back and she's like, okay, I didn't do sun. So guess what? Now it's locked. She's locked out because it becomes view only once you submit. Don't worry, not a big deal. Come back to this page and unsubmit. Yep, I want to unsubmit. Now Della can come back and she can finish her work. Here she goes. Now she can finish and go through all of the slides. And that is how easy it is for your kids to access the Google documents that you put up. That's it. Okay, so a lot of teachers are asking me this question because a lot of the administrators are asking them this question. How do you differentiate with Google Classroom? I keep hearing it's a great way to differentiate, but I don't get it. So I'll show you, super easy. Here you go, here's your classroom. Come up here to the three lines, go up to this board here. So just come up here and click classes, okay? you can start a whole nother class. You don't just have to have one. So you can create a class, and this one might be reading RTI, and create that class. So now it's creating another classroom for you, and in this classroom, these kids are really struggling just identifying letters. So you come over here again, and you're, we're going to create an assignment for the students, particular for this classroom. Here's the new class code, or you go over here and you invite those students again. Let's say my little friend Della is really struggling. So I'm going to put in um, Della's email. Um, here she is. And I am going to add her and I'm inviting Della. 
So here she is, she's been invited. So when she comes in, I'll show you what she sees, but I'm going to make an assignment for Della. So she needs more help with identifying letters. So let's get this resource for her. We'll download this same thing that we did before. Here it is. This one's gonna have 47 slides with movable pieces and it's all about matching letters. So we're gonna click this assignment. We're gonna make a copy and just give it a second. The Wi-Fi is slow this morning. And here she is. She's gonna work on matching letters to different fonts. So this one, she's going to drag them over and um, will be able to see, does she know this is a B? Does she know this is a B? Is she able to identify Bs and As look really close to each other? Can she do this? So we're going to give her this assignment while someone else is working on another one. So let's go back to our reading RTI. We're gonna create an assignment. We go over here to our Chrome sign and here it is. We want to add that one. I want everybody to have their own copy and I'm going to, um, we're gonna name it because Google wants it to have a, a name. I'm gonna call this letter knowledge and I'm going to assign it. Remember, I just made a copy for each student and we're assigning that. So now my little student Della is going to be able to come in and she's gonna be able to match the letters where someone else might be working on reading CBC words, reading sight words. They all can be working on different items, but they all can be working on Google Classroom at the same time. It is so easy to just assign different resources to different students. And that is it. That is how easy it is to differentiate. See, didn't I tell you it's so easy to get started? It's crazy, right? So give it a try. And don't forget, go to the um, attachments at the bottom of this uh, video because it will have a link to the free um, driver's license. It just makes it a lot easier for you to remember what their login and their password is. I definitely think that you should get it. It's editable, just write their stuff in, laminate it, and keep it by your technology center or keep it in their cubbies. It makes it so much easier when they use that. But good luck, enjoy it. And I can't wait to hear how you have impressed your administrator with how you are differentiating instruction by embracing technology and the younger grades. <laughs> so anyways, if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out to me at dellalarsonsclass at gmail.com. I love hearing from people and how it's working and I'd love to hear from you. Good luck and I can't wait to hear how you impress your administrator. Bye.